Good night, people. Oh, I forgot how I can jump. I'm Monster Dad, the jumping king. <laughs> Here on Europa. So, last episode, yeah, stranded on Europa by Mars, and the objective is to get back to Earth. Um, and one thing I didn't take into consideration was the fact. What's been inventory so far? Uh, was the fact that there was no stone on Europa whatsoever. I had no idea that that had been changed. Uh, the devs had obviously done that as a joke. <laughs> so I had to fly up in my suit. Where is it? 29k to that asteroid just for stone. Crazy, crazy things. But it worked. Um, I went up there once more in between episodes just to get another bunch so that we definitely have enough just to get the few things needed to start processing the metals. So in prep for that, um, I've put this little contraption down. So on the top of these two pylons, I've got wind turbines. Down here have basic refinery. Um, a small cargo container and a basic assembler. So that's only got one cargo port. So that will feed into that. That will feed into this. Um, and then we can grab everything from from just just accessing the cargo container here um, but one wind turbine if it's positioned properly without any obstructions and a good clear area can produce about 330 kilowatts this basic refinery takes about 330 kilowatts coincidentally to to process and refine metals um, so with one of those you can't run both the assembler and the refinery at the same time but with two of them you should be able to no problem whatsoever um, and I'm just going to queue up another bunch of girders so that we've got enough should have enough resources now to do this okay um, and let's start putting these together so we'll start off with the wind turbine cool beans we have power we have the power we have the power, as Scotty would say. Captain. Um, I'm not going to bother with the other one just at the moment. This this is the most important thing next, this refinery. Because once we have this operational and that wind turbine, we can start processing metals. And whether we have the basic assembler or not, we can at least produce the basic materials in our survival kit over here that's still being powered by this battery which I think has got about three days worth of power left on it so far so there we go um, let's get these girders because I think you know I mean, another couple of signals came down as well so I, I gathered the stuff from those so I think we, we might be good to build pretty much all of this stuff I want to get this other wind turbine online if I can um, interior plate we're short of but we should be okay to get it operational Boom. Let's see if I've positioned these well. Let's see if they can get full, full power. So wind turbine 1, 3, 3, 2, that's good. 3, 4, 2, oh that's really good. I haven't seen one produce that much before. The most I've seen is about 330, 335. Cool. They need to be, they need to have a good space around them and a good distance between them to really get them maxed. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, so this is the next thing. So what do we need? Displays, computers, and we need an interior plate as well. I think we might have enough resources from that stone to get these done. I've been taking things apart on the um, the dropship as well. Okay, right. Quite a few small steel tubes. I can't. We need the basic assembler to make the small steel tubes. I don't believe we can make those in here. Um, production. No, we can't. So we needed a couple of displays, didn't we? Uh, we definitely need some computers. We need interior plate. I don't know what else we needed. What's in my inventory? We should have enough construction components motors 
Let's queue up another couple of displays as well. And while that's making, I'll show you what I did over here. I started a bit of a mine shaft. Um, there's some iron and nickel fairly close to each other down here. So I figured rather than just have a hole, we'll at least make it look nice. And they've introduced ladders to the game at long last. Um, I think ladders were originally in the game, but they took them out. And then somebody made a ladder mod, and everyone's been screaming for them ever since. And they finally put them back in. They do actually look really nice. Uh, but at the moment, we can just jump down. But it's just really for show and getting back out again. Um, and so we can, so I can see where the mine shaft is as well once it's all put together. So down here we have iron. And down here we have nickel. Um, so I might as well grab some iron while we're down here. Why not? We've got our refinery online. We have power. We should do it. Let's try and get the iron. We can get more than that. So silicon deposit is the other thing that's needed initially. Now I'm sure I'm going to get, or should I, I'm recording this one just after the first episode, so I haven't seen the comments yet. But when I watched the first video back, I realised stupidly that silicon rock that I found was sitting on an actual resource pocket as well. There was a resource pocket right next to it. And it contained iron, nickel, and I think it was cobalt as well. And I only noticed it when I actually played the video back. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to get some comments saying that. And that was the very first spot I went to as well. All that searching around this area for deposits. I could have saved myself so much time. Okay, let's start processing some iron. Let's pop this ice into there. And our stuff should be ready. Okay, that's... Eee. I don't want the grinder, do I? Boom! Right, let's get some steel tubes done. And then, what else we need for this? Some computers, display... Energy low. Steel tubes, interior plates... Plate. Definitely going to need some more computers. Let's go and do that. Oh, actually, let's get the steel tubes going. Let's do a hundred initially. Oh, I was thinking it will draw from here, but it won't because I haven't connected them up yet, have I? Idiot. There we go. And then we'll go and top up our energy and queue up some more interior plate that should be enough so I'm feeling good about this now that trip out to space that asteroid was worth it well, it was worth it. it. It actually saved saved us completely um, because we couldn't have progressed without it. Let's grab those and just need a couple of computers. And that will be good to go as well, which means I can empty my inventory at last. Do you know what? I don't know. What did I keep in this? I think it was just the large stuff. Yeah, oh, that can go in the refinery. In fact, all this stuff can come out of here now. I'll leave those in there. Um, what I'm looking for? Looking for this. Production, computers, 
Thank you. So I think I needed two, didn't I? That should do us. Oh yeah. Now refinery should draw that straight through. And it did. I'll keep the steel plate on me for building. Look at that. We are progressing. We're good to move on. Um, I could actually move this survival kit to the to connect it to the back of this cargo container and power that from these wind turbines. I think I'd prefer to put another wind turbine down first because if I do that, I'd want to move the O2 H2 generator as well. Um, Mind you, I could still just... Hmm... What to do? I do want to connect this up to the power over there. I'll have to think about it. What I might do... What I think I'm doing is putting a, a rotor down with a small rotor head and then build the small ship o 2 hd generator to that and then put the survival kit onto this. That way I can still top up my suit hydrogen and oxygen from this because it will be connected through to the small ship O2 HD generator. If I pop this, because this is like a neutral one, it's neither small ship or large ship, I could take that apart and put it onto one of these blocks over here, but I'd have to build a large O2 H2 generator to connect to it to be able to top up my suit directly from it. Um, so I think that's probably the way to go. Um, and then I could just take all of this apart then for the resources. I think I'm going to do that actually. Rotor. Boom. Okay, first of all, let's make a space for it. Um, it doesn't really need to be near these um, because it's kind of going to be like an independent little setup. So I guess I could just pop it out here so that I can access it easily. Let's pop that down there. Now I don't need to fully weld this together. I just need to take the head off. And then I can access that, find the rotor and add small head. And then from there, what I can do is if I find that, come on, get in my inventory, um, the survival kit, what I can do now is put a small ship O2 system onto that. Um, I do need to be able to feed ice into it, don't I? Come on, get on there. Uh, so I'm going to need some... I'm going to need to connect it via... the conveyor blocks, I think to the survival kit. I'm making this up as I go, as you can tell. Let me get all that out of there and I'll shift it all to the cargo container at the moment. And let's empty that also. Pop all that into there. I'll tidy all that up in a bit. Now if I take apart this and this and these 
determined to lose that, lose that rifle, aren't I? Wasn't there a, a tool in there as well? Okay. I'm sure there's a grinder in there as well. So what I should be able to do now, weld these up. So I want to be able to dump ice in the front of that. So this survival. Oh, brilliant. It can connect directly to it. Now I need to be able to get up to that. So let's build something that will help me. Will that work? Okay, so that's replenishing my suit. So if I grab the ice from this Pop it into there, it should... Oh, I should be able to put it straight into the O2 generator from there. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I need in there to go into this. So let's test this one more time, just to make sure. It should top up my O2, my hydrogen and my suit. Yeah. It works! It works! Now I can take that thing apart completely. Um, let's just dump the rest of this into here, apart from the steel plate. Cool beans! Progression. Yeah, it's handy being able to put that small rotor head on the, the large rotor. Um, otherwise, I mean, I think a large a larger H2O2 generator, I think you're talking huge amounts of resources. 120 steel plate. Um, yeah. Large tubes. Oh, it's not that expensive, really. I mean, I'll swap it over to a large one at some point because I'm going to want to put a hydrogen engine, hydrogen engine on this base at some point as well. So I'll need a, a large one. But at the moment, why not just move the stuff we've already got and not spend extra resources? Perfect. Cool beans. Right. It's a shame to waste that battery, but I can't really do. I can't actually, because I want to want to do is build um, a flying vessel. I don't, I'm not going to bother with a rover on Europa. I don't think it's worth it. The terrain and the 0.25 gravity, I've spent half the time in the air anyway and flipped over. And I, I didn't want to waste this battery. So what I could do is build... I mean, normally when I build something, I would put a landing, leg, landing gear down and then build a little platform to build the vehicle onto. Well, this is already on that. I could just build a vehicle from this and that's it that way I could keep the battery. Yeah, definitely. I don't have to waste it. I could do putting a solar panel on that actually, couldn't I? And getting it fully recharged. Can I make a solar panel? What do I need for that? It, it only needs to be a temporary thing at the moment. Do we have small ship? Oh yeah, you can get small ones now, can you? Well, they're big though, aren't they? <laughs> they're small ship ones, but they're big. Oh, I'm going to have to take... Let's take these off.
the round one off. So let's stick some blocks on there. And it won't fall over because it's on the landing gear and they're locked. And let's see if I can get a solar panel to this. I can. Cool beans. I'm not going to be able to build it yet. I need to get the stuff for it. What am I short of? Eight solar cells, some girders, bulletproof glass. I can probably, it'll, it'll become operational without the bulletproof glass. So, solar cells, eight, and some girders. I can do that. I can do that. Let's move all this stuff into here. So, production. That was only one bulletproof glass, wasn't it? Eight of those, and I might as well make 20 girders. I think that might be enough. I like it when I don't have to waste anything. Um, I would have hate, hated to waste that battery. Now, do I have an access panel on this somewhere? I don't, do I? I'm going to have to put one on. Control panel. There it is. Can I put one on here? Yeah. Right, let's put this battery onto recharge. It doesn't need to power anything. Perfect. We're going to have a fully recharged battery by the time we build this ship. Don't need this landing gear. Cool beans. Cool beans, as they say. Well, I don't know if they say, but I say. Okay. Progression. I'm really pleased. I'm, I'm so glad I thought about that. <laughs> we, uh, that actually ended up perfect being on that landing leg. We can build a ship from that. Ideal. Um, it will be powered by a, a small ship hydrogen engine as well, as well as the battery. And it doesn't need a lot of thrust. It'll be hydrogen thrust, um, but it doesn't need a huge amount. I mean, it's 0.25 gravity. It it doesn't need to be a particularly high-powered vessel, but it just needs to be a scout vessel. Um, it doesn't necessarily need a lot of cargo space. I'm not going to be collecting things. I'll probably go into unknown, unknown signals and things like, such as this one. Which I might as well go and get. Um, but apart from that, and I actually to, probably to and from asteroids as well, because I want to locate some plutonium, some uranium. Let's see what you got in the bag. Nothing. Thank you. Oh, this is the cargo container fill level mod. It's just such a useful little mod, I think. 83 interior plate. Beautiful. Mind you, we can make tons of it now, so it's not a big deal. I mean, eventually I'll just stop getting these unknown signals because, you know, the amount of resources you get in them probably aren't worth it for later game. But for now, they are invaluable. There we go. Yeah, by that rock. I'll, I'll go and show you. Just in case you missed it on the video, I should probably go and replenish my suit first, but we're not too far away from that. 
Um, <laughs> I watched the video back, and it, like I say, it was the first thing I visited with regards to looking for resources. Um, and Energy sat on there, and look at that. There are resources all over the place. Silicon, iron and nickel. The three exact resources you need to start everything in the game. Silicon, iron and nickel. Obviously silicon in a rock, but you know, but iron and nickel there as well. So this is where we should have parked, but yeah. <laughs> what a dope. Nesby said, and I think the the words, the, the exact words as I flew off of that rock was something like, I'll know it when I see it. Yeah, right. Fool. Idiot. You fool of a took. As Gandalf would say. Okay, well, I'm going to top up here and I'm going to call it an episode. Um, I think we've progressed pretty good. Hopefully it'll be daylight at the beginning of the next video. Cracking view of Mars though. Isn't it amazing? We've been to that asteroid now and marked it on the GPS and now you can see it clearly. When I was stood down here looking up for asteroids, I could not see a single one. And there are a couple around it as well that you can't see so it must be because we've marked it as a GPS or maybe because we visited it I don't know um, who knows anyway let's dump this there we go right once again thank you very much for watching got to be a screenshot time, hasn't it? One of those moments to see the progression. There we go. Chink. Let's get rid of all that crap. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, loads of progression in this one. Next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next episode. I'll have to think it through. Again, I'll probably just do a bit of work in between episodes, gathering resources, getting all the, the tedious stuff out of the way with. Now we can refine all the metals. I've got a mine there. I'm going to gather a load of uh, iron and nickel. And I think there was cobalt here as well. But I'm going to go over and get a load of that silicon as well. Uh, probably need to do two or three trips for that. But, <coughs> excuse me, just get loads and loads of metals processing ready to build. Um, yeah, and I've got a, an idea in mind for a little... Europa moon base. Um, hmm. But it, I might work on that vehicle. Oh, you are kidding me. Of course, it was part of the spawn vessel, wasn't it? The respawn vessel. And because I moved the respawn point, which is this. It's gone. They despawn if you create another respawn point. What a waste. Oh well. I've got plenty of resources to make another battery. Fiddlesticks. Okay. Oh well, disappointing end to the episode, but never mind. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm Monster Dad. And I'll see you later. Bye.